think it's back to a real quick one. A real, real quick one. Yes. Today we're in Tinkercad. It's one of the things I use online to modify and design parts. This one's a particular one. is a phone case from our Huawei P8 Lite, which isn't a too bad phone. It's all right. It's quite cheap in the UK at the moment. It's got a metal rim, so it's metal. It's quite durable. But as you know, when you drop things, they break. Okay, which I found to my cost. <clears throat> anyway, when I found this design on uh, Thingiverse, I'm sure it was Thingiverse. It just had this design here. But what I did, I just put P8 light here, so it actually comes out in the case, which you can do by putting different uh, stuff like if we go down, go down, go down, go down by putting letters in. So you can just drag them over and put them where you want to, and make sure that they're hollow so they don't get printed. So on the other side, if I go upside down, this here gets printed like not at all, if you know what I mean. Now I've had to modify it quite a bit because it didn't actually fit quite right on my um, phone, basically. So I had to change these over here just slightly so they actually clicked into place and held the phone. Now I must say, it cost me around about eight pence to print, okay? Eight pence. And I've dropped it three times and it saved the phone. But right, the case is a bit worse for it. I'm about to do another one. And I'm going to do a bit more modification, okay? But as you can see, if you do get a 3D printer, you can make things that make your life an awful lot easier and it'll help you do designing along the way. If you use things like Tinkercad and then there's some on shape as well. Uh, mesh mixer there's lots and lots of free stuff that you don't have to pay for you just register and you get like a small private account which is all you basically need okay all you need as you can see this is pretty easy to use so i wanted to put another letter in we can just drag it over if we wanted to and turn it around so we can turn it make a different shape etc etc do whatever you want turn it around and we can make it hollow if we wanted to so click hole it's now a hole there you go let's see what you'd have to do is drag that down properly so it went all the way through so if we go up that's not quite down enough is it now i'm no super duper person doing this okay i'm just showing you a really really quick demonstration of the sort of things you can do what i'm going to do over the next couple of weeks maybe in about two weeks time we're going to do a couple of little things of designing stuff in tinker because it is the easiest one to use at the moment the other one's a bit more um should we say harder to do and it's not just phone cases you can make, you can make anything you can think of really. Washers, grommets, all depends on the material you're going to use. So I thought you'd like to see that, yeah. So anyway, what I'll do, I'll do tomorrow I'll actually show you the case and the phone and everything, and I'll record it all and you can see what it's actually like. Yeah, see what we do, mate. That was just a real, real, real quick, 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 quick one on Tinkercad and my little phone case. Nice. Sneaky, the next out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.